So a player in our forum asked, how do I develop a shoot first mentality? And the answer to this question brings up a really important point in the deep game that I think is going to make the game of basketball so much simpler for you once you understand it. And this actually applies to any quote unquote mentality you want to develop, right? Like if it's a shoot first mentality, attack first mentality, a killer mentality, so to speak, mentality is just a fancy word of saying your thoughts about something. So a player who is a shoot first, has a shoot first mentality is going to be thinking shoot first when they catch the ball attack, same thing. So what I told this player is to develop a shoot first mentality, shoot first. That's it. <laughs> your thoughts or your mentality, so to speak, have never scored a single point during a basketball game ever. There's never been a player in history who has scored a point using their thoughts. The only way we score is through action. The only way we do anything in basketball, for that matter, is through action. This is why in law number one of the deep game, we state performance increases as thought decreases because thoughts are completely irrelevant. They're distractions from what's happening in the game itself, whether they're positive or otherwise. And we also know that your thoughts will follow your actions. So for example, if you have been missing workouts for a week or two weeks or a month straight, you will start thinking to yourself at some point, man, I'm a really lazy basketball player. I'm just not doing the right things. And how am I ever going to succeed? And all of these sort of quote unquote negative thoughts will begin to arise as a result of not taking the action or rather taking the wrong actions. If you've been in a rhythm with your training, just firing on all cylinders for weeks or months, you will start to have really positive thoughts about your work ethic. Man, I'm working so hard. I'm the most committed player on my team. Thoughts of this nature. The point is the thoughts follow the actions. And rather than trying so hard to change our thoughts, which are largely outside of our control, our thoughts are changing wildly all the time, depending on what's actually happening. In other words, actions. Rather than trying to change our thoughts, which is very, very difficult, Change your actions and the thoughts will follow. So to become a shoot first player, shoot first in workouts, practices, and games. You will begin to see yourself and talk to yourself like a shoot first player. Same thing goes if you want to become an attack first player or uh, you know, just an aggressive player. Play aggressively. Assert physical strength, effort, energy into the game and you will begin to think like that type of player. There's a really good quote that sums this up perfectly that I first heard, I think from Tim Ferriss, uh, guessing he got it from somebody else. But anyway, it's a really good quote. It goes, it's easier to act your way into a new way of thinking than to think your way into a new way of acting. So put your thoughts aside and simply take the action and the thoughts will follow. Hey, it's Taylor. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, the best thing to do right now while it's fresh in your mind is to head over to deepgame.com and join us in our free masterclass. Now, this is where you'll learn all eight laws of the deep game and all of the fundamentals that you need to know about the part of basketball that's played with the mind. We've had players call this the best hour of basketball learning of their lives, and it's completely free right now. So head over to deepgame.com to join us, and I will see you there.